The opportunity to travel the world are rare, but to fully dive into and learn another culture while you're there is once in a lifetime. Lily Pesavento caught up with one woman in the valley who works with this kind of effort. She joins us in the studio with more. Lily. Thank you, Sadie. When I was in high school, I had a few classes with a foreign exchange student from France, and since then, I always wondered what it's like to be an exchange student in Terre Haute, Indiana. 4,882 miles. That's how far away Finn Panko is from his home in Germany. He didn't end up in the program by chance. In fact, he's had his heart set on visiting the United States for a while. I always had like the dream to go here. And then my teacher was telling me that I can get the opportunity to do that. I was like, yeah, why not? Finn has been learning, studying, and speaking the English language since the third grade. But if there's one thing that studying the language didn't prepare him for, it's the dialects. American people got more accents than German people. I mean, German people got accents too, but... Finn is a senior at Terre Haute South High School. And if students in America think that the school day is long, they've got nothing on Germany. We don't got that five hours a day. We got nine hours a day. And it's like changing all the time. Back home in Germany, Finn has more freedom and independence in and out of school. And because of that freedom, Finn's host, Brent McPike, marvels at his lack of homesickness. They hang out on the Berlin subway system. And I would imagine that if I was coming from a place where I could run around the subways all day, that might almost be enough to make me homesick to want to go. Since his arrival at the McPike homestead, Finn has impressed everyone with his skills in the kitchen. Finn's a good cook. I'm, I, I intend to learn more about how to cook from him. His grandmother sent some recipes. Susan Hayhurst is the local coordinator for the Council on International Educational Exchange. So far, she has placed nine students across Vigo and surrounding counties, and her passion for the program comes from her own experience. Lisa is what we call our third uh, daughter, because we have two girls, and um, she just folded into the family really well. An exchange student's impact isn't limited to the host family. It's the opportunity to expand this area's um, culture and knowledge of the world. For those who may be considering studying abroad and taking that leap, Finn has some advice. Uh, leave your home behind you and like enjoy the year you have. Don't matter if you get homesick, just think, think uh, about something else. It's going to be fun, yeah. Susan told me the enrollment for next year's placement season is January through May. However, she is looking for host families throughout the year. She also encourages local students in Vigo County to study abroad, and that application process begins October 1st. Sadie. That would be a really cool opportunity to take up, and thank you, Lily, for that report. For more information on how to become a host family or if you're a student who'd like to study abroad, we have more information on our website at mywabashvalley.com.